Hello, in this video we're going to solve a competitive firm's supply equation from this cubic cost equation. So here's our perfectly competitive firm. It has a cost equation given by the following. Our goal is to solve for the firm supply equation with Q, the quantity of output, quantity supplied of output as a function of price. So the first step is to get the marginal cost equation and take the derivative of the cost equation with respect to quantity. And we get the following result, derivative of 7 is 0. Uh, the next term here, the derivative of that, bring down the 3 from the exponent in front, and then subtract 1 from that 3 in the exponent, and we get this result. Derivative of 0.1q squared is just 0.2q, and finally the derivative of 2q is just 2. And so just rewriting marginal cost. So one key thing here is that in perfect competition, price equals marginal cost. So I'm going to take price, and that will just equal our marginal cost. So just substitute out MC for P. And then this 3 divided by 600 will simplify down to just 1 over 200. And then I'm going to multiply everything through by 200 to get rid of this denominator down here. And now moving this 200p over to the right-hand side, we have the following. So this is going to be a quadratic equation where a, the coefficient on the q squared term is 1, b is 40, and c is everything else, this 400 minus 200p. So we're just going to substitute this a, b, and c into our quadratic formula. And doing that, we get the following. And now let's simplify it. So I'm going to ignore the minus sign here at first. And so 40 squared is 1,600. Minus 4 times 400 is minus 1,600. And finally, minus 4 times minus 200p is plus 800p. So 1,600 minus 1,600 is 0. Get this result. Minus 40 divided by 2 is minus 20. And we have our supply equation. So the quantity supplied here, the firm's supply, is a function of price. And you'll notice as P increases, the quantity supplied increases because we got a plus in front here. So also note the following doesn't make sense for supply. So if we were to solve this, ignoring the plus, and instead had a minus sign here, you would have got this result, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, as P increases, quantity supply decreases, no, there should be a positive relationship between uh, the quantity supplied and the price. So we can ignore this, this answer. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.